Good morning, everyone. My name is Angeli, currently a junior studying microbiology at UC Berkeley. Today, my presentation is on the impact of the circadian clock on cardiovascular physiology and pathophysiology. Here's the agenda for today's presentation, and let's move on to begin. First of all, we all know our bodies operate on a complex internal clock, the circadian rhythm. It handles crucial tasks, including sleep-wake cycles, hormone secretion, metabolism, and behavioral patterns. At the center of the system is the suprachiasmatic nucleus, shortened as SCN, which exists in our brain and controlling those roughly 24-hour cycles. Today, we are going to discuss how disruption in those rhythms can impact her health, providing clues on the way to prevent and manage related disease. Circadian rhythm are vital for controlling essential heart functions, such as blood pressure and heart rate. And some key clock genes involved include mole one and clock genes. Together, they regulate genes governing daily rhythm from sleep cycle to hormone secretion. Those rhythms peak during the day and day by night, aligning with our active and resting phase. The circadian rhythm has a big role in our hair works and how our blood vessels tighten or relax through the autonomic nervous system. When our daily rhythm are off, it can impact how well the vagus nerve, part of the calming system in our body, to regulate the heart rate and blood pressure. This influence goes further, sensing the brain's ICN with both the nervous system that excite and calm our bodies. When our daily rhythm are irregular, it can seriously impact how our body responds and our overall heart health showing the complex interaction between our internal clock and how our heart functions, elevating the risk of various cardiovascular disease. Some studies have revealed significant findings about disrupted circadian rhythm in people with high blood pressure. This disruption impacts the atrial gland, disturbing the hormone release and consequently blood pressure regulation. Notably, irregular blood pressure changes, especially at night, link strongly to high risk of various conditions, for example, the chronic kidney disease. On the right of this slide is the figure regarding the result of the research. This is a research with over a thousand participants. We're looking at how blood pressure during the day and night affects the chronic kidney disease over almost five years. What we found was the certain patterns in blood pressure, like not dropping or reversing at night, were linked to worse chronic kidney disease, particularly the participants with less drop in blood pressure at night usually have more problems with their kidneys. This shows how crucial nighttime blood pressure is for predicting the kidney health in participants. Next, move on to the shift workers, the worker with irregular work shift hours. In current society, the prolonged exposure to irregular work shifts common in various industries poses a serious threat to her health. Study consistently link shift work to metabolic issues and changes in her function in both animals and humans. Our study on how irregular work schedules affect gene expression in her tissues was thorough. We group participants some on regular hours, others doing shift work, and some with irregular schedules and restricted eating to analyze their gene expression. This detailed examination reveals specific gene activity patterns related to different work schedules. Overall, we can see there is a clear difference in gene activity between those on regular hours and shift workers. Notably, among those shift workers, especially those with irregular schedule and restricted eating, 
certain genes linked to her enlargement were more active. Those findings support the connection between shift work, metabolic issues, and changes in her function, which seen in both animals and human studies. In addition to her enlargement, there are also some other findings from mouse models with disrupted internal clock reveal concerning changes in her related aspects. For example, the vascular wall sickness, blood pressure, and left ventricle dimension. There is a visual presentation to support those findings. As we can see in the figure, the panel A to C display how mass movement patterns changes during different light conditions, indicating disruption in their daily routines, while the panel D to I show how the disruption worsens her related issues, displaying thinner blood vessel walls, larger her muscle size, outer her chamber dimension, reduce her pumping ability, and higher blood pressure. Overall, those results highlight the serious impact of disrupted daily rhythm on her health and function. And those discoveries shine light on potential health risk caused by disruption in the, our daily rhythm, emphasizing the importance of maintaining those rhythms during our daily life. In terms of the vascular dynamic, the playlist responsiveness changes throughout the day for hypertensive individuals and connects with changes in morning blood pressure. Those variations strongly link to higher chance of heart attack and sudden cardiac death. And this connection is a clear reminder of how disruption in our daily rhythm can relate to cardiovascular risk. Indeed, some heart-related events, like stroke and heart attacks, show a strong link to the circadian rhythm, affecting those timing of the events. The research have consistently shown that certain heart events tend to happen more in the morning. For example, they study looking at the stroke, often find the symptoms show up more often in the morning hours. Those facts emphasizes the need of treatment than taking account into those timing patterns like treatments that work best at certain times of the day, which could potentially help manage those diseases more effectively. Beyond the main clock in the SCN, Different body tissues also have their own separate biological clocks, affected by the thing like cortisol. Those clocks work on their own and affect parts of a cardiovascular system that responds to mineral locoticoid receptor, shortened as MR, contributing to more stress on heart and blood vessels. But those clocks are sensitive and can get thrown off by the things like irregular eating, high fat diet, or busy work schedule. Plus, some conditions like obesity or diabetes can also make this disruption worse, changing how those channels work and making us more prone to heart problems like cardiovascular disease or irregular herpes. Overall, this slide shows how these body clocks are interconnected and how disruption from our lifestyle or health conditions can really impact our her health. In conclusion, our study of how circadianism and her health intertwined has uncovered a significant relationship, revealing how those internalism can impact our health. This highlights the importance of those reasons related to cardiovascular disease development. But this isn't the end of the road. We need to dig deeper into how those reasons and her health connection. Understanding this can better lead to the way to treat or prevent those diseases. 
and exploring it further promise to give us new ideas about how our body clocks affect our heart, which can help us better manage disease. Also, those in SAS does not just apply to cardiovascular disease, but also broader health conditions affected by disrupted rhythm. That's all for the presentation, and thank you for listening.